Yo everybody, what's going on? This is Keegan from K-Man Reviews. If you enjoy this review, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button. And if you have any opinions at all that you would like to share, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Soren, lately. Soren is the mononymous alias of New Politics guitarist and vocalist Soren Hansen. As a diehard fan of the band, I did not see this coming at all, and apparently a lot of people didn't. Thankfully, the band doesn't seem to be on bad terms at all. In fact, they seem to be very welcoming, supportive, and open-minded of their bandmate doing a solo thing, which is awesome to hear. This is Soren's first official solo single, possibly leading up to a solo project with the song titled Lately. Haven't done a track review in quite a while, so this seemed like a perfect candidate. So how is Soren's first solo single? Let's find out as I review it. So let me start off this review by saying this feels like a mostly safe track for Soren to release. It definitely still contains a decent amount of influence from New Politics, but it feels like an older cut. Something they would have released around the 2012-2013, kind of like a Bad Girl in Harlem sort of era. And that was my personal favorite era of the band, so naturally I did resonate with this track pretty much immediately out of the gate. The piano work is the leading melody here, and I'm thankful it is. Soren is a wonderful pianist. The traits have been demonstrated on previous New Politics songs before, on tracks like Stuck On You. It's done very well here as well. There are some elements here that don't take from his home band, however. Particularly, there's noticeable crackling texture that aids in the opening of the track and returns for the verses. And slightly for the chorus as well, which doesn't really add all that much. I'm not sure if the goal of it was to go for this sort of rustic, ancient, lost recording feeling to it, but I don't think it really gets there. Another feature I also noticed pretty quickly was the distorted bass pulsations for the choruses, and these have absolutely warmed up on me. I thought they were a little bit awkward when combined with Soren's clean, polished vocal delivery, but they add a bit of a chaotic flair that helps to aid this internal struggle that is the lyrics here. So yeah, instrumentally, the track is pretty good. I like the delicate fragileness of the piano, the synthetic ambience, and the changes in tone and intensity. Now we get to Soren's vocals, which for the most part are also well done. And it feels good to hear that voice that made up some of my favorite hooks and choruses thrive on a solo song. And talk about powerful and emotional as well, especially on that grand chorus and the melodious bridge. Soren does slur a little bit as well, mainly on the breakdowns after the choruses, and that does feel a little bit different, not particularly in a good way. But as a whole, it does feel like a plea for help and a heartfelt confessional, and that little yelp at the end of the breakdowns feel like that final drained breath after dealing with all this strife. Speaking of strife, the lyrics here, while not too vivid and deep, still paint this melancholic picture of being lost inside your mind as it turns into this haunted house, hiding from the unfamiliar shadows and appearances of yourself. Yet the track also has these connections to this relationship that presumably fell apart, longing for that former innocence and reminiscing about the planned future that was actually painted here in beautiful detail. And I think those are really my thoughts on the track. So overall, the song is pretty great, but it certainly isn't revolutionary, yet at the same time, it's kind of wrong for me to assume such standards in the first place for a first solo song. There's nice, warm melodies that clash with the frigid, somber lyrical content and sung by a very underrated vocalist in modern times. I eagerly await the follow-up single or even an upcoming solo album or EP, and I will be back here to cover it if such does happen. I'm feeling about an 8.5 out of 10 on this track. Well guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.